this out on. Getting set for our co-main event, featherweight action. There's Marrero, Claudio Marrero from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Outstanding I'm, I'm record so far as a pro, 16 no and 1 with 12 knockouts. And there's Ira Terry, the journeyman out of Memphis, Tennessee, who's hoping to shock the world here tonight. To get us all set up, Bob Alexander is standing by. Ladies and gentlemen, from the join at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Iron Mike Productions. This is your co-main event of the evening, scheduled for 10 rounds of professional boxing in the junior featherweight division. Your judges scoring at ringside are David Sutherland, Jerry Griffin, and Gerald Ritter. Your referee in charge of the action, Gary Ritter. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white trunks. He weighed in at 124 and a half pounds. A veteran of 38 professional bouts from Memphis, Tennessee. Here is Ira. Mr. Showtime, Terry. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and gold trunks. He weighed in at 129 pounds. His professional record, 16 wins, one loss, 12 wins by way of knockout. El hijo de Santa Domingo de República Dominicana. Here is the former world title challenger, Claudio, the Matrix Marrero. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Okay, gentlemen, you got your instructions earlier. Give us a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both your trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Touch your gloves. Fight at the bell. Last time out on an Iron Mike show, Claudio Marrero did put on a show in Pittsburgh back in August against Felix Perez. Got the knockout in the second round. As part of his comeback, as we were talking about, he had a shot. A very After 14 pro fights, took on Jesus Cuellar for an interim WBA title and lost a very close fight. That's still very much on his mind. He knows now what it takes not to slip up and not to take anybody for granted, right? he was talking about. Round number one here, scheduled for 10. And he's a southpaw, as you'll notice quickly, and they come out very aggressively here in the opening seconds of round number one. Yes, Claudio Marrero's a, a southpaw, like you said, and he's a, an aggressive southpaw. He said he was gonna come after him. He said he wants to establish his jab and throw lead Terry on the chin. Terry stands right in front of him, he'll yes. be in deep, deep water. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, Terry's a well-traveled veteran. He's got a lot of experience, fought a lot of named guys, didn't beat him, uh, but he stays in the gym, he stays in shape, and he's happy for this opportunity. And a little bit of a right hand right there. Marrero, very, very active, very aggressive. They call him the Matrix. <laughs> As you can see, staying, you know, good balance. It's always good to... You know, when you're trying to find that range, you get that right hand out there if you're a southpaw, and, and then follow it right back with a quick left hand. If it finds the mark, it will be devastating to Ira Terry. Watch out, watch out. Terry said he's gonna move to his left. He wants to stay away from Marrero's left hand. That's his power hand, that's his bread and bow, butter punch. And uh, you know, he wants to throw lead rights and left hooks. Terry does. That's the way to beat a left-hander. And just keep circling him and don't stand in front of him. That is always the game plan. Got to keep moving away oh. from his power. That left hand is getting in. Then one to the body right there from Morero. Another body shot followed up with another left hand. Setting everything up off. A very snappy, quick jab that he has. Left hand is finding his mark, but not yet. Uh, if you see Terry... He, uh, he's carrying his hands up very high in the left hands. He's still blocking them. They're not breaking through the gloves. Nice frame defense. Tight by Terry. He needs to stay tight. You don't want to get caught by the left hand. Oh, now he's changing up his left hand to the body. He's starting to feel it a little bit. Those power shots are coming in. Uh, 
Iritari knows what kind of power he's facing right now. Oh, I think he felt that power. Yeah, when they when they start grinning, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can tell you I, that hurt. Terry trying to step up the pace a little bit here. Time left, round number one. Twenty seconds left, of round number one here, Tulsa, Oklahoma. No main event. Marrero, the development of this Dominican fighter. He's hoping to continue and go to greater heights in the lightweight division. Where there's tremendous names out there. Nice body work there by Terry. Oh, both sides. Give and take right here in the final seconds. Oh, come out a little bit after the bell. Round two scheduled for 10. Claudio Marrero's in the black trunks with the gold fringe. Ira Terry's in the black trunks with the white stripes, vertical ways. And you'll get to talk about the pedigree of this Marrero guy. A lot of people haven't heard about him, but he's, he's sparred in Miami with the likes of Guillermo Rigondeau and multiple world champion Yorgarkis Gamboa, over 100 rounds, and he knows what he's doing, and he's really working it right now, trying to open up big time here in the second round. By this point, they pretty much know what each other has, and I don't think Marrero is intimidated in the least at this point. Oh, not at all. Uh, I, and I, think, I think he needs to attack and apply more pressure. He is stronger in there. He's, uh, I think he's trying a little bit too hard to land that left hand. He needs to just set it, everything behind the jab, keep tapping him with the jab, and the left hand will come slowly. Just set it up. Don't worry so much about trying to knock this guy out. Terry leaving his feet lunging forward there, missing wildly, and Moreno just basically stepping back off the ropes to get back into position. And I'll tell you what, Terry's being a smart fighter. He keeps moving to his left, and that makes it uncomfortable for Marrero to throw his lead left hand. This makes it hard. He just can't land it. It's, it's you know, the, the, the target is there, and then he moves. All, all it takes is that little movement to the side by Terry to confuse Marrero. Marrero, you watch the footwork. He's doing the best he can to get the angles and cut and cut off yeah, you, you Terry. See. But Terry's, like you said, yes. moving left, 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 left. And you see the way Marrero, he's just following him too straight. You know, he's not giving him any feints. He's not moving his head. He looks a little, he's too tight. He needs to loosen up and just let everything flow. He's got the skills, he's got the speed, he's got the power. But you see, he's, he's looking for one punch. He's looking for the knockout. Yes. And he might get, he almost got a good punch in there right there, but Terry was able to avoid it, and it whistled just below his chin. Now, Terry on the right side of your screen. You see the constant see, movement. There goes that left hand. He just missed a big. Just missed a big one. He telegraphs it. Uh, Terry's going to see it, you know, and he's going to be able to move his head or block it. He needs to put punches together, three, four, five punches behind that jab, then let the big bomb go. Nice straight left got in right there. Oh, he just that got caught. Good. He just got caught. Moreno knows it. Now he's loosening up a little That's bit. That's it. Yeah, giving him angles. He's moving to the left, to the right, giving him feints. He needs more of that. Nothing like landing a good shot to give you confidence. We're just in the second round here, scheduled for 10. Final seconds winding down, round number two. Terry, right at the end of the round, like he did round number one. I just got caught with a left hand. Welcome back to Iron Mike Productions from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Round number three of this featherweight contest between Claudio Marrero, once again in the black trunks with the gold fringe, and Ira Terry, a journeyman out of Memphis, Tennessee, who's trying to step it up a little bit here at the beginning of round number three. At the end of the last two rounds, the first two rounds, he tried to get in there and mix it up a little bit along the ropes, but he got caught a little bit right at the end of round number two. This is a difficult fight for Marrero at this point, I would think, Raul, because he, he like you said, he, if he just relax and do what he does best, well, See, that, that's what he's got to do. Break him right. down. Look at that. Right. He just threw a four-punch, five-punch combination and came back with a, a bomb, but he can't get lazy in there, get too confident, because Terry is a veteran. And he's going to set him up. He's going to catch him coming in. Well, Terry's doing, I'll tell you what, Terry's investing early in the fight with some good body shots. We saw him throw some nice body shots at the end of the first round, the end of the second round, and he just threw a nice barrage of body shots there. That could come in play in the late, the, the second half of the fight. Morel could get tired. 
Well, maybe he's overthinking it a little bit too much because stop, Terry's stop, stop. just changed up what he's been doing the first two rounds completely here. Now, it might be very, very dangerous for Terry to stand there and try to exchange like this because he's in with superior power, to say the least. Yeah, he don't need to exchange. He needs to do his work and get out of there. In and out, keep giving him them little things, little movements. Move to the right, move to the left. Do not square up. Do not stand in front of him because he's going to get caught with that lead left. And he knows it's coming. That, that That's... Marrero concentrates a lot on his left hand. Look, you see, he's not using a hard jab. He's just trying to load up with the lead left, yep. overhand left. They're just saying it's telegraphed a little bit too much at this point, you think? Yes. Came wide with the right hand right there. Nice job. 55 seconds round number three remaining here. Marrero needs to put that face, that strong jab in his face. Strong jab, solid jab. Then pat the jab again, then come back with combinations. But he continues to just, he, he's walking, trying to walk him down, but he's not throwing enough punches. Not, not enough effective work with his right hand. He's posing too much. Look at him. He's looking at him. He, he, he hits him with one shot, and then he, he admires his work. You don't admire your work. When you hit a guy with a hard shot, you come back, hit him with two or three hard shots. Keep working behind that. I sensed his, his confidence is still. He has got to rebuild it from being disappointed 15 months ago, but uh, you've, got, you've got to do a little bit more of what he does best. There you go, inside. He almost walked into a right hand right there. I mean, if he was afraid at all, he could have gotten caught right there. Let's send it over now to Steve Kim to get the guys' assessment of what we're seeing. All right, thanks a lot. Mike, <laughs> your thoughts on the performance of Claudio Marrero? Hey, well, you know, Claudio's the kind of guy he likes to set up his shots. You know, he's posing a little too much, you know, admiring his work a little bit too much when he should be throwing punches and bunches. He's at his best. He's at his best when the guy's pressuring him. Mm -hmm. He's be forced to fight. Sean, as I've seen it so far, Terry has done exactly what you're taught to do in the gym in that he moves to his last. He, it's a very difficult opponent for a left-handed fighter. He's, he's textbooks boxing so far in this fight. Is, does Morello have to change what he's doing? And I noticed a little bit of change during that third round, but what are, what are your thoughts on him changing his style? Well, Morello have to start early, and he has to um, do that by throwing punches and bunches and stop profiling a little and looking good and, you know, watching me, look at me, admiring his work and stuff. Um, Terry's a good, experienced fighter. Oh, he's good. Yeah, this is a terrific match. Round number four, I, I love those guys. Mike's just dead on, and so is Sean, about what we're seeing. A little bit too much posing. <laughs> As you were saying, Rule, he's got to get to work. I mean, he's got yes. a guy in there that's vastly inferior in talent, and uh, he's just a, too hesitant. And there you go, just caught him with a left hand, and Terry's going to quickly spin out of that one. I'm telling you, it's going to be really hard to just catch Terry with a, one power shot. If you catch him in one shot, the next one, he's either going to hold you, he's going to move, he's going to—he's not going to be there. He's a, he's a smart, he's smart, a very intelligent fighter. He's, he's making uh, Claudio Marrero really work here tonight yeah, and think. And, you know, these are the kind of fights that, that take you to the next level. You need a guy like this in your career. When you get to the big time, you know, you're able to make adjustments so far. Marrero, I don't, I don't think he's making... He's not adapting, he's not making any changes. It's, it's time for him to make changes. Uh, this is the fourth round, I believe, right? And uh, it, we, we have, he has to make changes here. He needs to be more aggressive and, and uh, there you go. Oh, That's it. it. That's punches it. And punches right here. That's it. Letting what, it go. What, what is he waiting for? What was he waiting for? <laughs> I don't know. Terry's talking to him here, but now they're getting to it a little bit. <laughs> Uh, quit. Yeah. The referee says, enough talking, let's do some fighting. That's the Barrera we, that we want to see. He's got Terry digging away at the body here, but it's not effective. Well, they seem to be having some fun. Terry is. He's the type of fighter you were saying. I remember Terry, you're going to face these guys in the way up. These guys have tried to always stay in shape. They never know when the phone's going to ring. They've got great experience. They know what they're doing. They may never win a world championship, but you're going to give you rounds if they're on their game, and they're going to make you fight the way you should fight. 
they're going to get the best out of you. That's what he's that's doing the guys tonight. You've got to see. That's right. right. And we just and saw more. A, he's doing that and more. And tonight. more. Yeah. And here goes the posing again that we were talking about. Terry, he's not afraid to come in and throw some punches on his own on the way in. Like we said, round number four scheduled for ten. What Terry's really uh, surprising me, surprising me in this fight. I didn't expect it to go this long. Uh, being that he, you know, he also came in in short notice, Alan. And he's certainly acquitting himself quite well. I guess the man with. An international reputation as an amateur, a guy who's been in the gym with the best. And uh, Moreno's a little frustrated. Final seconds. But he doesn't have to be frustrated. He just keep throwing punches. Round number four winding oh. down. Attention, you round number five here in this lightweight fight between Claudio Moreno on the right side of your screen. Ira Terry out of Memphis, Tennessee, 27 years old. Moreno's 25. I don't know what they've been telling the railroad over in the corner, but uh, they might want to step it up a little bit if you can. So when he got in there and started throwing the combinations and, and cut the distance, uh, that's when he looked his best, Robo. Yes, there goes double left hand. Yeah. There, there we go, he's putting his punches together. He's got to always keep a guy like that that's fast. He's, uh, Terry's got pretty good speed. He could match Marrero's speed, so he's got to keep his heart rate up. You know, put the jab on him, put the lead like that, like that. That there you go, make him think. And he's exactly. feeling that. He, you see, he, now he's very back slowing pedaling. down right here. Yeah, he got he's back caught. Pedaling. Now he go. goes into defensive mode. Going into defensive mode, and there's a situation where Marrero apparently by the round five here is figuring, you know, what, I might want to step it up, and he is. And you can see a little bit of the steam coming out of Ira Terry at this point. Flicking that jab out there, no effect whatsoever. Look at that, he's forcing around a little bit. Terry landed a couple of rights. Well, that's what happens when he stops throwing. Well, there we go, now he's throwing body shot inside, <laughs> left hand, dropping his hands. Like he almost got upset there a little bit. And look what happened. Oh, beautiful, oh. that beautiful left hook to the body right there. Well, you can oh, see yeah, look at his Terry's mouth. holding his you elbow saw, down. Yeah. He's hurt. He got right to the ribs there. You, you saw the face that he made too. Yep. Do it again. Immediately dropped that right elbow down over those yep. ribs because he got tagged inside. That's it, work, work the other side. Let him, let, let him keep complaining. The referee didn't jump in. Let him complain. Yeah, it was it was borderline low blow. 43 seconds left, round number five. And the best action round so far. I saw him there. He, he's still, he's still favored that right side, too. It's Terry, bro. I think he got to it pretty good on that rip. <laughs> Yeah, them body shots, say. We, we know what the body shots do. Tara's talking to the referee right now about potential low shots. That's, that's a veteran for you. He can, he can fight and try to referee the fight at the same time. And the referee's just laughing at him. <laughs> Think rule, nor I thought this thing would go five, but nope. here we are. And we're going to take you and show you how we got this far. Taking you for the first few rounds. There's there's the journeyman. From Memphis, Tennessee. But look at this. And we see him uh, working the body. Ira Terry making him fight. And every time Marrero throws, that's what happens. He's successful. Look at that. Bunches and bunches, combinations. He needs more of that. There we see again. Beautiful flurries there. Attacking on the attack, but every time he stops throwing, that's when uh, the, the veteran yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's winning the fight. It's just a matter of what he wants to do with it. Uh, we like to see the, the action fighters. I mean, he's, he's superior in speed and power, but this young man here, I mean, he says, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make you earn it. 
So we go to round number six scheduled for 10 featherweight action here. I would think that uh, Marrero's way out front on the cards. And he's winding up a bolo punch there perhaps, went downstairs to the body. That's been effective, that would work for him. Pretty much anything would work for him if he just puts the heat on. <laughs> and I think in the meeting, one of his handlers said yesterday he, he's, he's better depending on who he fights. That might work for him well down the road, but the guy he's fighting right now is Ira Terry. Yeah, well, Terry, you know, he, he's a difficult guy to fight. He's, uh, he's got good speed. He's a little bit awkward. He's not going to give you what you want. Uh, you know, he keeps moving to his left like he said he would. That way, well, he's, uh, he's yeah. staying away from the left, which exactly. he said he was going to do. Doing a good job of it. And we're round number six, scheduled for 10 here. Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the hospitality is outstanding. Can you ever get a chance to come out to the Hard Rock in Tulsa? Marrero needs to cut off the ring. Yeah, he needs move to, to the right. Up. Yeah, move to the left, move to the right, work the body, move to the left, throw the left hand. That's it, stay in there, work him up, come up the middle. And to tell him to keep the punches up a little bit. Oh, nice body work. Oh, that beautiful. body work, and then upstairs with the right hand, left hand, that got straight through the guard. Broken. Oh. oh, another body shot. He's got Kirby really wobbling now. That hurt. Now he's got him in big time trouble. Left hand, right on the chin. His gloves touched. So there's going to be a count right there. That was the swarm that we were looking for from Marrero, who's ready to, now he's acting oh. like a baby bull over yeah. the corner over there. Oh, it looks like he's got a machine gun now. Look at that. Uh oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Referee waving it off. Terry's still a little bit wobbly. And you saw Marrero over there was snorting like a baby bull. El Toro <laughs> getting ready to come back across and probably just as well. I think some body shots. Terry's still getting looked at here by the doctor right here. It, that was the power that was sitting there like a keg of dynamite the entire time, Raul, when he finally I mean, unleashed it. Yes, I mean, I, mean, I don't mean to be too hard on right. Raul, but you see no. the potential that he had I mean, it, it just to get it done. Yeah, he won the fight. Yeah, it looked he's, good. He's still a young, you know, professional guy that's, that's learning, uh, you know, in the pro ranks. Uh, but speed is power. And we saw what happened when he put his punches together. The power came. He's got the natural power. Uh, you know, good body work. And you know, so that's, Marrero that's gets it done yep. right here in round number six. Tara's still up there sucking wind a little bit, I believe, with some body shots that got, yeah, right downstairs. And then that left that got through. And then as he gets back on him, another shot to the ribs right there. And another one and another one. And that's what just took the steam right out of him. And we'll come back for the official decision after this. But that's, that's, the, class, that's the way to finish right there. Marrero doing a terrific job to finish off his way through his professional career and figures out exactly when he can turn it on and close out the show like he did tonight. For the official results, let's send it up to our ring announcer, Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, from the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, your referee in charge, Gary Ritter, calls a halt to the bout at one minute, 51 seconds of the sixth round. Your winner by TKO, Claudio, the Matrix Marrero. Well, he really came to life there as we were talking about Raul and that's the final punch stance. I mean, Marrero, although we were saying what, he could have been more busy, but he really out threw him. Landed 91, 31% of his punches. Terry fought a strategic fight, but was no match in ability whatsoever for the young man from Puerto Rico. So Marrero gets a sixth round knockout and we'll be seeing a lot of him in the future. And